Okay, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Liverpool and we're at a dedicated super gym. My first time here and we're going to smash an upper body workout so follow me let's go through so this gym is famous for all its watsons fully kits that watson equipment this place is absolutely huge everything's green and black as you can see everything looks brand new so this looks like it's the chest area it is quite close Cramped, but uh, loads of equipment here, loads of chest machines, bench presses, and this gym has the world's biggest Watson dumbbell rack. We're going to check out the heaviest dumbbells, but they go, I think they go from one kilo increments. Absolutely huge rack. So look at the size of this rack. It's absolutely huge. <laughs> These guys are from Manchester. So I like the channel. How's it going? Check out the videos, like and subscribe. Over here, more benches, more chest equipment. I bet on a Monday night this part is absolutely packed. So, dumbbells, we'll probably go back to the dumbbells, but I think they go up to like under 50 kilos. This is the leg area, leg and back. Some machines here I've never seen before, even tried, so good thing about coming to new gyms, we can play around with new toys we've never used before. It's good to use new toys and Watson makes some great equipment. So you, I think they've got every Watson leg equipment made. And there's two or three of everything. It kind of reminds me of a gym in Dubai. Sort of a lot of big space, big units. So much equipment, it's gonna take me probably two or three sessions to get the feel of the place. So far so good, first impressions, very bright, very clean, everything looks brand new here. There's six or seven power racks and a big 30 meter trap. Nice calibrated plates, these aren't cheap. They're about 300 pound a disc, believe it or not. So just had a quick look around the gym and Ricky hit it now on the head. Even though it's sort of a bodybuilding gym, it does feel a lot more of a commercial gym feel. It looks like a, like a JD gym. Very nice, very clean. Not that busy today. I mean, it's a big gym, so, and it is only like one o'clock. Of the gym. Yeah. You know what? I do like the gym. When you walk in, it's impressive, isn't it? You do think, you know, that is a big gym. When you walk through, as you will have seen, the really nice supplement part of the shop, even the uh, display for the memberships and the prices, it's all very, very smart. You walk in, um, it's an absolutely massive space with a shit ton of equipment. It is a little bit too cramped for my kind of liking. That's just my opinion. Um, but I don't think there is a piece of equipment here that they haven't got. Yeah. Okay, what I do like about this gym, I like the branded plates. It just gives it a bit of a, an extra fine finishing touch. And it's very, very tidy gym. And even though it's such a big gym, you'd think they had more plates. But funny enough, a lot of the I'd say probably 80% of the machines here, they're all selectorized, so you don't have to add weights onto them, which is a smart move, keeps the gym nice and tidy, but plenty of these round. And like I said in all my videos, no matter where you are in the world, we're in Liverpool, we're in Dubai, we're in America, we always re-wrap our weights. No excuses. <coughs> 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 Uh, oh. 
So anyone watching this video, you've been to a super dedicated gym, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the gym. Or dedicated gym. <laughs> So obviously we can't come to dedicated gym and not use their famous dumbbell so not quite using the 130s that is the biggest dumbbell you know we've got the same dumbbells and watching dumbbells are notoriously heavier than they actually are they do feel like that's a 39 kilo dumbbell, it feels like a 59 kilo. Okay, so even though the gym is amazing, when you walk in, it is quite sort of walking, it's like wow. But I'm gonna break a few my opinion of my sort of negatives about this gym. And when I'm being negative, I'm being very picky. So bear in mind, this is an amazing gym. The music, I don't know how the audio is gonna be, but the music is very loud because there's any speakers on one side of the gym all the sounds coming from one side and they have to blast the music to go through because it's such a big gym well the better off is having speakers all around the gym and a bit quieter so it's more even so that's one drawback music can be very loud and another thing is as you can see here everything's very very crammed together I can imagine on a Monday night it could be absolutely packed in here uh, so that could be a potential problem. What I would do as a gym owner, I would probably take away a third of the machines here, create more space. When you create more space, the gym will look a lot bigger. It's also safer as well. I think there's a lot of unnecessary pieces of equipment here, which probably people don't use or have no need for. But I'd be very super picky. see many commercial looking or bodybuilding gyms have monoliths. A monolith is for like the strong bastards, the heavy powerlifters. But they've got two here. I'm not sure how much they've used because it's not there, they still look brand new. So a monolift allows you to take the weight off, you don't have to walk back in the rack. You basically unhook it and you go down. So this is for people squatting 3 400 kilos. So they've got two here. So just walking around doing the dedicated gym. It's a huge gym, it's probably 15, 20,000 square foot. Just come upstairs as it's a bit quieter. The music's so loud downstairs. But yeah, this is a nice uh, functional area upstairs, nice and airy. It's nice and cool up here. There's 10, 15 treadmills. Yeah, great gym, so much equipment. Uh, it probably take you three, four days just to find your way around. All, the, all it's Watson. I'm not too sure if I would have a gym just dedicated for Watson equipment. But you know in my gym, I like to have the best of a bit of everything, Atlantis, Hammer Strength, uh, Prime. So that's probably one thing I don't uh, particularly like about the gym, it's all Watson. But some of you may like Watson, so it swings and roundabouts. But it's, uh, it's, as soon as you walk in, it's wow in your face. And I love the green and black artwork and the big neon signs but yeah if you do it's definitely worth a 10 pound day pass so if you do come to uh, liverpool make sure you come and visit dedicated super gym okay, so this is its own dedicated leg room there's probably 40 pieces of leg kit here for watson plenty of stuff there's, i think there's four or five leg presses four or five different squat machines pack squats, leg, leg curls, booty machines, you name it, they've got it here. We have got a few pieces of Ultimate Fitness, obviously not to this level, uh, but I am familiar with the Watson stuff. 
all good. So we've got different leg curls here. There's a plate loaded one there. Now, I like this machine. I was thinking about getting one for my gym, but space is an issue. Big deadlifting area, Illico branded. Illico are number one in the world. Very expensive. These Illico plates, they're about 300 pounds each. They're not cheap. So with this gym, there's no expense spared here. Everything's top notch. Everything's branded. Everything looks matching. That's one bonus of the gym. Nothing sort of mismatch here. The chest section absolutely huge. There's probably 40, 50 chest machines here, different kinds of incline, decline, flats, plate loaded, selectorized, standing chest presses, and the craziest dumbbell rack you've ever seen in your life. But yeah, so far so good, having a great session. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this gym. Okay, so this dedicated super gym Liverpool wrapped up. What can I say? Great gym, great atmosphere, you have to come here and visit us. If you like Watson's stuff, then this is the place to see. Uh, bags and bags of equipment, probably too much equipment for my liking in one space, if that's even possible. But yeah, definitely, if you are in Liverpool, give this place a bit. Only £10 for a day pass, and I'll put the uh, address in the box below. Hope you enjoyed the video, but for now, see you soon. No limits, no